Today's upgrade stand-up book is You Look Like a Thing and I Love You by Janelle Shane. This book tells you what AI can do and more importantly, what AI cannot do. Janelle has spent a lot of time doing fun experiments with AI. She took AI out of its comfort zone and she shares some rather hilarious results with us. Just like Upgrad's stand-up book took you out of your comfort zone where you hardly ever read anything to now being motivated enough to buy books. First, let's understand AI the way Janelle sees it. Usually, a computer program or a software is designed to perform certain tasks. All the steps are pre-fed into it. A normal program knows what to do and how to do it. There is a certainty of results. But AI is a machine learning intelligence through algorithms. What this means is, when given an instruction, AI uses trial and error and tries to understand the rules on its own till it gives the desired results. So if you say, clean the computer, AI will take a bucket and pour water over it because that's how utensils are cleaned. These are the cases where AI will not produce the desired results if the problem has too many variables and is very complex. Second, the problem is not what we thought it was. It might use an extreme shortcut that you did not even think about. And last, the data from which AI learned to solve the problem was flawed. So basically, AI is not as smart as we think it is. The AI that reaches the user, people like you and me, would have come after rigorous testing and evaluation. So what were these fun experiments Janelle did with the AI robot? She instructed AI to play tic-tac-toe. A programmer in 1997 wrote an algorithm for it and let it evolve its own approach for winning. After some time, the algorithm started winning all the games. It was later found out that the algorithm used to make other computers run out of memory and crash other people's computers and win the game. AI also failed in the task in which humans routinely fail, giving directions. Worse, imagine an AI robot taking direction instructions from an Indian. Ah, idhar se seedha jao, to ek building girega, ha? Huh? An AI robot would walk and walk in an absolutely straight line till it finds a building that has fallen to the ground. Another fun experiment was where AI was used to recognize photographs. AI is already used in passport and visa services in many countries for facial recognition. I read somewhere that a man was denied a passport because AI reported that his eyes were closed in the passport photograph. The problem was that the man's eyes were very small, almost closed. Now let's talk about an interesting experiment where Janelle made a database of pickup lines to teach AI to flirt. She trained AI to imitate these pickup lines. The AI began looking for patterns and soon enough, it could start recognizing patterns and started generating pickup lines of its own. One of the pickup lines it generated was, you look like a thing and I love you. Finally, let's talk about a few advantages and disadvantages of AI. AI is everywhere. That is the biggest advantage as well as disadvantage. I had to meet a person once. I got his number and called him once. The next day, his number appeared on every suggested friends list. That's AI for you. You go to an e-commerce website to search for shoes, you will keep seeing ads of shoes till you search for something else. We talked about the AI, its pitfalls, and why human intelligence is very important. Maybe more important than machine intelligence. But the book gives you a complete understanding of the subject in a non-jargonized way. With funny experiments and examples, Janelle hits the ball out of the AI path on this one. Upgrade Standard Book is with you in your journey to upgrade yourself. Be ambitious. Learn and relearn with Upgrad. Today's Upgrad stand-up book is Hyperfocus. How to be more productive in a world of distraction by Chris Bailey, a productivity expert.